Hey there, everyone. Thank you again for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore the properties of negative exponents. But first, let's reactivate what we already know about positive exponents. For example, 5 raised to the second power. We know that this is equal to 5 times 5. Another way to look at this is calling it 5 squared. And we also know that 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And that's pretty easy and something that we should be familiar with. But what if that exponent was a negative 2 instead of a positive 2? When we think of negative or the word negate, we think of it as performing the opposite or inverse operation. So with positive exponents, our operation is multiplication. So what is the inverse or opposite of multiplying? You are correct if you said dividing. So in this case, we are going to express as a fraction that 5 to the negative second power is equal to 1 over 5 to the second power. Notice how we threw away the negative sign in the exponent. Let's see that again one more time. And since we know that 5 squared is equal to 25, we can conclude that 5 to the negative second power is equal to 1 25th, or 0 0.04. So now we can apply our understanding of negative exponents to an example where we want to simplify the expression 2 to the negative 8 power multiplied by 2 to the positive 5 power. Now when we multiply exponents with the same base, we know that there's a rule, and that rule is that we can add the exponents together. In this case, negative 8 plus 5 is equal to negative 3. So now we have 2 raised to the negative third power. And we know that since our exponent is negative, that we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the third power. Again, we remove the negative sign. We also know that 2 to the third power is equal to positive 8. And we can conclude that 2 to the negative 3 power is equal to either 1 over 8 or 0.125. Now, there are different ways to tackle a problem like this that will still get you to the same correct answer. So I'll leave you with a question, and that is, could you have simplified this expression using a different strategy? And if so, share your strategy in the comments below. I would love to hear how you arrived at your answer. And thank you again for stopping by. I'll see everyone soon. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also, don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, you get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support and I will see you all next time. Bye.